Hi, and welcome to Tauro Movies. Guess where I am? I'm in Finland! And if you like to know how I came to this place, please join my journey and the journey of my friends. We are finally here in Finland, about a boat's hour away from the uh, harbor city Kotkar in Finland. And possible made this our friend Osmo. His friends brought us here with a very fast and strong boat. It was amazing with this light, the Baltic Sea. I think we can share some beautiful video takes with you. And now we are on this little island here for a couple of days. Actually, the name of the island came from us so we call it it's the Finnish Alcatraz and we are here as you can see we are all members of the Bushcraft Academy this year we didn't do a festival like five, five times ago but we decided to spend some time together and make some plans for, for the future <laughs> we have about eight o'clock at the evening and doing a little walk around to discover at least a part of this island and to be honest we are all a little fleshed and speechless about this beauty around here. I hope I can catch a little of it in this video and share it with you. It's just amazing. The weather forecast says there is no rain. There will be temperatures around 20 degrees during the whole week. There is no need to do something more complicated or put a top on it. <clears throat> and for me it's really important if I wake up tomorrow to have this beautiful view down at the Baltic Sea. So Chris decided also to stay overnight at this area here. So let's have a look how he sleeps or plans to sleep. So Chris did also a very fast setup. He was actually as fast as me. And uh, yeah, let's say this. Given this awesome view, basically you have to use this hammock and just use the nice, the nice area. Just check that out. It's beautiful, it's pretty. So we're gonna decide it for the hammock. Works nicely. and. Yeah. You have an uh, inflatable yeah. insulation net using, inside using an expert and the proper dominate. sleeping bag and you leave the top open just with the yep. mosquito mesh. Bag. Okay, great Chris. Let's see how it works. Thanks. So Cosmo, do you want to say something to your setup? You have also an inflatable insulation mat yeah. inside. Tricky dirty. There is an expert mat. 
over there. Okay. And a nice summer sleeping summer bag. Summer sleeping bag, yeah. And helium. It's that's it, that's all we need. Yeah. But and a mosquito net. Yeah, that, that's really important here in Finland. Yeah. The mosquito net yeah, or mesh. It. So we have a fire very close to the beach and as you can see it's very light up here, nearly 11 p.m. And for us uh, it's a very special experience because our, for most of us are the first time that we are that close to the north and the nights are quite short at the summer time. So it's quite funny. Usually at our homes it would be very dark and nearly time to go to bed. But we don't think about it. Now it's time for dinner and then we will see what's happening. What are you doing, bro? What are you doing? Guys, I tell you, it's actually unbelievable. We have 12 o'clock at night. We still have enough light uh, that we don't have to use any flashlights. And we walking around with our t-shirts. So it's really warm and that's unusual. For this time of the year, we have end of May here in Finland. As you can see, we are still enjoying and there's no idea about to go to bed right now. We have nearly three o'clock at the morning and you can see sun is coming up already and it's finally time to sleep at least for a few hours. So see you tomorrow guys. Good morning everybody. To be honest I had not a good night because I'm not used to this light in the morning. About half an hour after I went into my BB bag the sun came up and it became really hot in it so I had to move into the shadow of this rock wall here <clears throat> and uh, anyway it was not much of a sleep. Doesn't matter, we are on a beautiful place here and we'll see what the next day will bring. All the others slept well, more or less, and now after a really rich and healthy breakfast, we are walking around a little the island to discover the area here. I told you it was easy. <laughs> Nothing happened. The other guys went for a barbecue on the other side of this island and I catch the boat with Cosmo together. So 
last night we spent around the cottage here. Of course, we had sauna again, and now we're getting prepared to get picked up from the island and hit another place very close to the Baltic Sea this evening. Bye! Cheers. Bye! Cheers. It's also pretty cool. It is awesome, pretty I cool. I think we love it. Unbelievable. You want to see it, fellas? Yeah. You want to see it? Okay, just turn around. Zip. Look at these. The Baltic Sea again. After we left the island today, we visit the home of our friend Osmo, and he has organized this cottage for us, also very close, just a few meters away from the Baltic Sea. Of course, there's a sauna as well, so I guess we will heat it up tonight and have a jump into it again, into the Baltic Sea. There's a boat, maybe we can make it ready for paddling. And of course, we we'll stay around here, maybe in the house, maybe in our BB bags next to it, just to enjoy and finish the day here, because two of our mates, Sepp and Chris, have to leave tomorrow. And Marcos, Cosmo and Osmo, we Four went then about 100 kilometers from here into the country to a national park for a two days hike. Go to this island. So we just took the paddle boat and our cottage is over there which is about one kilometer away and now we have some beer here. Have a look around. Uh, whoops. Of course this island has no name. We name it Karyala. Okay, Karyala. we name it Karyala. 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 You can look at the map, you will find nothing. Karyala. Oh, Kar <laughs> okay, okay, okay. I need always help, you know. Yeah. yeah. We are really used to it. Yeah. Right, did you hear what he said? <laughs> We're used to it to help you! <laughs> Cheers! Cheers! I really love this country at this time of the year because we have half past eight and the sun is still shining and it's still warm and light up here. Oh, Taro Row! Row, Taro Row! Baby! Cosmo found this old bird's nest and it should be enough to start a fire with the ferro rod. Now we all stay very close together to this campfire and have a little barbecue. The main reason of it is we have a lot of mosquitoes around here. But the smoke will push them away and the heat, but uh, it works only a little, only a little. Anyway, fresh potatoes baked in aluminum foil and in there are, what is the fish called? Salmon. And some salmon on the barbecue. Chris, maybe you can sit down a little bit. Mm -hmm. for you, the other guy is preparing the sauna, and I see 
you tomorrow, guys. Maybe you follow us to our adventure to the National Park. New day and new adventure. We say goodbye to our friends Seb and Chris and now we're heading forward to Rapparesi, the National Park, which is about 100 kilometers away from the coastline. Oh, good guy, huh? Somewhere here. Uh, there are two main, main uh, lava places. Yeah. Uh, That's actually the main entrance of the national park here. But we have only a short walk around to have a look over this lake, and then we plan to go around the national park and start hiking on the other side. Finally we reached our start point and we plan to go a distance of about 12, maybe less kilometers to find some nice camping grounds and discover the area here. So we are kind of excited. Lakes over lakes here, they are sometimes only 50 meters away from each other. It's an amazing landscape. What we have here is a lot of old man's beard. So we collect a few of it and it will be very easy to start our campfire with this stuff. It's a harvest of Cosmo. He also has some tinder fungus which uh, we will burn to get rid of the mosquitoes. But now we are still looking for a nice camping ground. Let's go. Yeah, what? So somebody should say there are no mountains in Finland. There are a few. I think this rock here is about maybe 60 meters high. After a few hours walk we found this nice little camping ground here with a fireplace and prepared firewood. Behind me there is a little lake and for this night I choose a very simple sleeping setup. This is actually an ultralight hammock which uh, Zep brought me. I use it here just with the mesh as a mosquito protection. Inside this uh, hammock I have an inflatable insulation mat and I use just a simple sleeping bag and I think that is good enough for the whole night because we don't expect any rain and the temperatures they are not going beneath 10 degrees Celsius tonight. Okay. 
wirklich ab, also wirklich feinst abgezogen. Der ist wieder auf Spaß. Ja, das macht Spaß. Schon. Ja. It's the old man's beard as a pinter we harvested yesterday and Cosmo carried all the way. So a few sparks from the ferrowat are just enough to light them up. So it was actually our coldest night. We had about temperatures of four degrees Celsius, but with our equipment was no problem at all. Now our last day starts. We plan to make another hike of about two or three hours back to the car. The weather has changed a little bit and we felt the first raindrops <coughs> uh, during this time here in Finland. We had such a beautiful, amazing summer weather here. But it's still very warm, nearly 20 degrees Celsius. And uh, if you like, enjoy the last day with us. My friends, thanks for watching. <laughs>